Okay, now we're going to assume that we're on today two. We're ready to go into lesson number 12 on text effects. We go to the website, we go down to 12. Again, you're going to have three you're going to pick from them. They go from easy to hard. So let's start off with the knockout text. So I'm going to click on the link. End up making something that looks kind of like that. And here's where we're going to go. We're going to create a new document that is 4 by 2 by 300. Control in or file new, which is 4 by 2 by 300. Click OK. Next, what does it say to do? Text tool, font, Cooper, black, change it to blue. Uh, text is uh, 28, Photoshop. Text. Cooper Standard. Just keep going through until I find the wrong. There we go. Should be up in here somewhere. Cooper Standard. 28. I'm going to pick a blue. Okay. Photo. Shop. Green check, black arrow, selection tool to move it. There we go. Okay, we have Photoshop in there. Next, it says to do your free transform. Hold your shift key to make it bigger to fill up the page. Okay, we can do that. Edit, free transform or control T. Remember, shift key on your keyboard keeps it keeps it constrained so that it doesn't get all like super skinny or super fat. Apply. Okay, we've done that. Now it says make sure you've got it like you want it because we're going to convert it to a shape. So we're going to go to layer, type, convert to shape. Layer, type, convert to shape. And now we have those little outlines around it. Okay. So now we have should have in the layer. See so it says Photoshop does. Go to the select the path selection tool, the little black arrow, not the multiple cross one. Exit out of that. And drag a selection around the entire word. And black arrow. Window around the whole thing. See now I have all those little pathways, those little plot the little handles. I believe that's the correct term. It says next, what are we gonna do? Exclude overlapping shape on the top. Exclude overlapping shape. Next, deselect the layers and then go out and select the drag layers so that they're overlapping and doing something funky and weird. Okay, so I deselect, grab it, pull it on the top of each other. Here. Dun dun dun. I could even do that control T again and spin them around. Whatever you want to do, it doesn't really matter. Just have a little fun with it and you put them together. Sorry. This one goes maybe here, here, there. Crazy. Maybe I want to add some really cool effect to it. Layer. Oh, where is that one again? Hang on, sorry. Uh, la 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 la, Photoshop, vector from around the text, go to the out of a set, Go to text effect tutorials or layer styles. That's what I thought it was. So we got it deselected. Move it to fit around in here. Maybe even crop, etc. Layer. Uh, and you can play with the different ones, applying them to them. Let's say dun dun dun, whatever. Anyway, so you've got your basic one done. File. Save as my computer, U Drive 7. This one would be Lesson 12A if you selected this one to do. And this one would be Overlap. And that's essentially it. Congratulations, you did it.